One thing you must know before raising your vibrational frequency, and this is what they don't tell you out there, and it can create a big chaos if you don't be aware of this. That's why we're gonna dive deep into it. When it comes to learning, there's nobody ahead and nobody behind. I don't believe I was born with all the skills. I don't believe I was born confident. But what I do know is that if I decide that I'm gonna go in on something, I'm either gonna go big or I'm gonna go home. So a lot of people today is always asking how to raise vibrational frequencies, to be able to connect deeper to the source, to be able to attract what they want in life. But one thing you must, must, must be careful of, which nobody tells you, is what actually happens when you are at that high vibrational state. And that is all the chaos that can actually happen while you're in that state. And let me explain what I mean by that. If we could bring up, right, the vibrational frequency chart, so all of you can see it right now. Okay. You will start to see that you have the sadness, the fear, the jealousy, all of those things at the bottom side. Then towards the top end, you have in this sequence, you have love, joy, peace. Now, it depends to what state you bring yourself into high vibrational frequency with. That's why when you get like, uh, monks and yogis that say through meditation getting into this high blissful state is actually a very different experience to you just moving your body jumping dancing singing and getting into high vibes don't just think that love and joy will get you into a high vibrational state to be able to attract what you want because think of it like this okay let's say for example um, we have your phone, right, to call the universe. Then you have a signal, okay? What the vibrational frequency chart shows is basically the higher the vibrational frequency, the more you are connected to source. Meaning, if you are more connected, meaning the signal is at its peak, at its best, at its optimal. When it's at optimal, it means that they can hear nice and clear exactly what, you, what orders you want to place. Okay, so you're like, okay, deliver me a girlfriend, deliver me some money, and then they can hear nice and clearly, and they say, oh, I got it, nice and loud, nice and clear, here you go. Okay, so that is the raising the vibrational frequency, that's why we connect closer and deeper to source. We get more clarity also. Okay, there's the channeling also. Now, there's another thing that's happening though. Think about it. When the signal is clear, they hear everything clearly. Everything. Not just the things you want. It's not just in the morning, I do some incantations, affirmations, where I say, I am powerful. I want to manifest money. I want to manifest success. They don't just hear that part when your high vibrational frequency is there. They hear everything. Meaning that the moments through the day, if you're in high vibes, Right? You're in a lot of joy. Somebody comes up to you and say, hey, you idiot, manifestation. When you think about it, manifestation. Hey, why are you so stupid? Manifestation. These negative news comes up while you're being positive. You think you're fending it off, yet at the same time, it's absorbing and it's directly that thought is sending out to universe. So actually, we become more sensitive to actually both when we're on a certain level. That is only of love and joy but then peace bliss enlightenment when you get to the highest levels of high vibrational frequency that is at peace so what does this mean okay now let's let's put it like this let's say for example let's give a very um a very common uh thing that you can relate to so you understand it better let's say some of you here might have heard the term lost in love. What is that referring to? That's referring to some people, they're so in love that they don't know what they're doing and they do stupid things, right? And you think about it this way, right? In psychology, you need to also understand when emotions are high, intelligence is low. Think about it. Think about all those times you're super, super excited, super, super happy, and then you just make Irrational decisions, right? You just do things. 
right? And then later on think, what did I just do? Sometimes on the other side of the spectrum, right, still emotions are high. You're really, really upset. You say all these bad things and afterwards you're like, oh, I'm so sorry I said that. I didn't mean it, right? When emotions is high, intelligence is low. When it goes to love and joy, these are these emotions because they're in chaos stage. That's why everything is heard, everything is absorbed, everything is manifested. And that's why a higher frequency than love and joy then comes peace than enlightenment. Because it's saying, how do we get into high vibrational state? Very high, hold the vibrational state, at the same time breathe, calm the thoughts in the mind so you have control of what you are thinking. And then you will have no distraction and then you will not manifest some of the things you don't want because it will not enter into the mind because you are at peace. In chaos stage, when it's all hyped up, it's very hard for you to have that amount of clarity. So what I'm saying is the practice should be get yourself into high vibrational state and at the same time, hold the vibrational state and at the same time, calm the thoughts in the mind so you have clarity and you know exactly what you're manifesting. Guys, this is a big thing and nobody ever speaks about it. So I think that it's very important you guys know this. Otherwise, you'll be attracting all the things that you want and you say, law of attraction is working for me. And at the same time, manifesting also things that you don't want. Mm. If this video has been of any use to you, whatsoever, please do hit the thumbs up. If you learn anything at all, hit the like button. Also, comment below. Let us know your experiences of it all. And also let us know where you guys have tuned in from. That's always nice to know. And finally, if you're new to this channel and you haven't already, remember, remember to hit that subscribe button and the notifications button next to it. That's that little bell sign, by the way, because this year I'm dedicated to making daily videos so you accountable to make it your best year yet. But for now, guys, we're going to do some asana practice. Okay, we're signing out. Namaste. Let's roll into position and get into the challenge again. <laughs> that um, that uh, uh, entrance is a little bit painful. <laughs> I think we might need to change it going forward. But before we get into it, I'd like to give a big, big shout out to Rock in Yogini, to Beth for this amazing asana practice, part of the Yogi Lambo challenge. And you wrote something here, a line that said, all I know is that you don't need to do everything perfect to have the benefits. But the only question I have is, what's not perfect? That was perfection. <laughs> Amazing. Namaste to you. Um, guys, we're doing something um, very uh, simple. Well, it's simple for some, you know, it's simple for those who, are sim who find it simple, but um, it's challenging for some. But we've got some alternatives for you guys to actually do this move, okay? So what we're gonna do is we are going to um, stand up. We are going to place our feet together, okay? For some of you, this may be difficult. If it's difficult, the easier way is your feet will be slightly apart so you can try again. But those of you who can, your feet will be together. Then what you will do, okay, is you will slowly come down, slowly come down, squatting, okay? So your heels should be down, your toes should be down, okay? Now, what we're gonna do, going from last week's practice, we are going to do the same lock on the toes. Remember the lock? So left hand, just hold onto the left knee. Right foot will come out and it will lock. Leg is straight, okay? From there, you inhale, exhale, bring the elbow to the knee. Then switch, okay? Switch to the left foot, out, it's straight again, right? Knee is straight, inhale, exhale, elbow to knee. And those of you who want to go a little bit more fancy, so those of you, by the way, if you're feeling challenged by that, then obviously maybe you're not on your heels yet. So heels are slightly up, okay? Maybe that'll make it easier for you. Try to balance, okay? But this is ideally what you want, to be able to put the heels down. Now, for, so for some of you who still feel it's challenging, you can try separate the legs slightly. This will give you a little bit, it'll be less pressure on the feet, okay? So you can do it with feet apart also. But those of you who can, 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 and want to go a little bit more fancy, we're gonna do it like this, okay? You can try this and see who can get it. So we wanna lock both toes. 
okay? Lock both of the toes at the same time with the heels down, okay? So hands are stuck now. One foot comes out slowly. Inhale, exhale, elbow to knee. Switch, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Bring it back in, okay? And that's it. <laughs> nice and simple for this week. Guys, um, if you're doing the challenge, make sure to put the tag Yogi Lambo Challenge and I look forward to seeing what you guys get up to over the next week and give you guys a shout out on the next, um, on the next video. Next week, every Thursday, by the way, is Yogi with a Lamborghini and we do these challenges every Thursday. Other than that, I think I'm done. You can check out the other videos and I'll see you guys tomorrow for another show or next Thursday for Yogi with a Lamborghini. Otherwise, love and blessings to all. Namaste.